A mom in New Jersey is on a mission to get answers about a possible cancer cluster at her children's schools. It comes after an investigation came back without any results. It is a story we have been following. Eyewitness News anchor Ken Rosado has more. A mom in New Jersey is taking matters into her own hands. She's investigating a possible cancer cluster linked to her children's high school after she was concerned her township wasn't doing enough. It was pretty much the first test I did and it was positive. Adita Komorik, an environmental scientist, says she conducted her own study, sending four samples, one dust, one caulk, and two soil samples she took herself to outside labs. So the results of the study uh, identified four compounds, polychlorinated biphenyls and three pesticides, chloridane, heptachlor, and heptachloropoxide. Those three compounds uh, are known or uh, are probable carcinogens. She says the findings showed levels of potentially cancer-causing compounds exceeding EPA standards. Earlier this year, Colonia High School gained national attention after more than 100 former students and faculty reported online that they were diagnosed with brain tumors over three decades. About half were cancerous. It was shock. Yeah, I said, what is the likelihood that a husband and wife can both have an acoustic neuroma? And what is the likelihood that a sister of me and my wife can have a brain tumor at the same time? Officials investigated, saying they found no significant radiation in the building. Everybody concluded that there was no need for further testing and that the grounds and the buildings were 100% safe. But Adita is not convinced. I think that air testing should be done immediately to determine whether or not there are hazardous levels of those chemicals in the indoor air. Adita, so concerned by what she found, she transferred her daughters out of the school. The school says it has sent her results to state health and environmental agencies. Well, anytime there's any indication that there could be something on the grounds or in the building of a, uh, a school, then sure, it's cause for concern. So yes, we're taking this very seriously. Experts say parents should not panic and more testing is needed to determine if there's any risk. They also say that tumors and cancer clusters are incredibly hard to prove. The school sent a letter to parents saying the results of an environmental test had no bearing on the prior studies, which determined last spring that no radiation was found inside or outside of Colonia's high school.